Now, the rest of the story. Well, I think we delayed it long enough. I went through and worked down the whole six or eight acres of new seating that my dad has. I mean, we're kind of arguing if it's six or six and a half or eight acres, so we're just going to go for eight. I mean, when it comes to seeding, when it depends on, you know, typically running out of seed, you usually figure for more and, you know, hope that you still have some left. Um, we're going through. I already disked it all down. I don't have any footage of that. Um, I went through after I disked it and hit it with this harrow. I can't remember the name of this harrow off the top of my head because I knew the name of it. I almost want to say first, but that just doesn't sound right. Um, well, heck, it could be for all I know. Um, this harrow is a lot more aggressive than the old Lindsay four-section harrow we used to have. So in the last few years, we've been having a lot of issues with our seeding coming up, namely alfalfa. And we've been putting a lot more of the blame on this this drag chain harrow because it's so aggressive that it's burrowing, uh, burying our our seeding uh, deeper than than what it is ideal, and then it affects germination. Um, okay, that's that's one argument. I mean, I'm not actually going to argue against that. It could very well be true. Um, my opinion, and that seems to be more of the opinion as of late, is since we quit milking cows um, and we're doing more of more beef, we don't need the straw, we don't need the oats. So there wasn't a whole lot of reason to be planting as, as heavy of an oat stand, you know, a cover crop for this alfalfa as, as we used to. Well, as we got going on, we used to plant north of 20 um, pounds per acre of alfalfa way back when. Well, there's a lot of debate as to whether or not you should be planting 12 or 15 or 20 or 25 or 22 is what I was told. Um, we dropped it down. Uh, we went down to 12, was it 12 pounds to the acre. And the problem with that is that is, according to the books, or, you know, the college, you know, educated people, um, that alfalfa will naturally thin down to 12 pounds to the acre. It doesn't matter how heavy you seed it. Okay, but here's my problem. Alfalfa is a very eh, difficult crop to get started. Um, a lot, it seems like it's a lot more challenging in recent years than what it was when I was growing up. Um, if you put out exactly the amount of seeds per acre um, that the stand is going to naturally thin down to, um, that doesn't af really account for the germination of the seeds. So if you're putting out exactly 12 pounds to the acre, what do you do if only 10 pounds of that seed actually germinates? So then you automatically have a lighter stand. It costs more money, which I mean nowadays you have to really watch where all your dollar signs are going. Um, I would rather put more seeds out. I did it last year where I was seeding, granted it was grass, but... Um, the grass stand compared to the, the grass that we seeded earlier the same year um, that was seeded heavier is thriving versus the lighter seeded stuff. Um, my problem is, is when I go and seed a hay crop, grass alfalfa, I really don't, it doesn't matter what it is. I want to do it once and be done. Uh, the last three, four years, it's been... We seed it, we go to all the work of getting the ground prepped and worked up and seeded um, just to be completely disappointed by July. So we're going back closer to our roots, not completely to our roots, because completely to our roots is milking cows again and you know, taking a hammer to the hand sounds a lot more um, enjoyable than that. So you guys aren't, for those of you that aren't sure, my stance on milking cows. Um, we are going back to seeding heavier than what we were. Um, results to follow. Um, also, as far as the seeding, um, I think the last was the last video on what was the last video? I'm having a hard time remembering here. Um, about the valley, some things have changed. 
I think it was option A, B, or C. Option A was what? Um, go through and disk the works down, work it all up, and then reseed it. Well, option A isn't going to happen because, um, you know, the hay, the grass is already there. I mean, it's late enough in the season now. I don't want to have to start from zero, from scratch, you know, because the grass that is coming up um, is coming in quite well. I mean, I already put the fertilizer down on a bunch of that. Um, option B was spray off the clover, off the whole field, spray a mix that'll just do the clover for the broad leaves, it'll leave the grass, and then go in with that coon drill and just hit it heavy, um, or option, well, hit it heavy with another, a grass mix, you know, get a nice stand of grass coming in. Um, option C was don't do anything. I was leaning pretty heavy towards option C. I'm um, going with option B. Um, some things have changed. Priorities have really changed. So what's going on is it's getting sprayed up. It was sprayed off um, as far as I'm aware of. And as of right now, we're waiting two weeks. So it's gonna seem kind of odd and silly because um, we have to wait two weeks for the residual of the chemical to wear off because if I seed into it now this within those two weeks, it's going to affect my, my new seed that's going in. It's going to be 20 pounds of uh, grass master and 100 pounds, not, uh, not exactly 100 pounds, it'll be um, three to five pounds of reed canary. Um, that coon drill, there will be a video on how farms work just as long as we can get everything figured out and get the seed and all that stuff. Um, there'll be a video more on how farms work on that. I don't know how much I'll really address it because... I mean, really, the stuff with that coon drill, I, it really isn't meant to be on this channel. I mean, I'll reference the stuff, but um, other than that, go to how farmers work to really see how it works out. Um, the big thing that's going to be kind of odd is that it's looking like it'll probably be after planting or pretty close to it or in between or a day where we, you know, we aren't able to plant corn or beans or whatever else. Um, I'm sure I can do it in a day. It's 35 acres. Um, I'm going to go through and seed it right in with the grass that's standing there so i'll talk more about it as we get closer on but as far as what we're doing here um, i think you're gonna have to go to how farms work once again because ryan was the one that was seeding this um, not me i was actually I, I wasn't i was about three miles away when ryan was doing this so it's the spring rush we're trying to be everywhere at once and i mean trying to coordinate right so at least spring is really starting to act like spring. I know they're calling for a cold snap here, but uh, more farming videos to come. I actually have another one filmed and recorded, and I actually have to get that loaded into my video editor as soon as I edit or end this video. So as always, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'll be humble. I hate saying that. I really do. But you are really supporting the channel. Until next time, take care, take it easy, keep in touch.